Welcome back to my channel, Math and Language, and we're going to tackle how to find the time and compound interest. Alright, so before we start, let me just request na sana malike yung video and also click the bell notification at subscribe na rin kayo sa video ko para updated kayo sa bagong video ng Math and Language. Alright, so let's go to the lesson proper. So, notes muna. Mapansin nyo sa ibang textbook, yung P as per principal. Ang PV naman as present value. They have the same value naman. Magkakaiba lang yan dun sa textbook na gagamitin nyo o dun sa professor na nagtuturo sa inyo. Same with FV for future value or A for final amount. Dito sa video na to, gagamitin natin ay PV for present value at FV for future value. So, tingin yung variables na gagamitin natin. FV for future value. PV for present value, and for the number of times compounded. R naman will be the rate and T for time. So, ano ba yung number of times compounded per year? O yung variable na N? So, let us just review it again. First one, annually natin ay 1, semi-annually ay 2, quarterly will be 4, monthly ay 12, weekly ay 52, at daily ay 365. Right, so let's move on. Ano ba yung formula na gagamitin natin for time para sa compound interest? This will be a little bit difficult kasi gagamit tayo ng natural logarithm. Or you can call it as ln na lang. Ln. So time is equal to, yung sa numerator part, the natural logarithm, or ln na lang tatawagin ko. Ln of future value over present value. The denominator part naman, n, yung compounded Compounding frequency, yung semi-annually, annually, or monthly, yun yung n. Okay? So, times mo yan sa quantity ng ln of the quantity 1 plus r over n. Okay, sir. So, paano mo ba nakuha yung ganyang formula? So, balik tayo dun sa formula ng future value natin. Future value is equal to the present value times mo sa quantity ng 1 plus r over n. Tapos, ang exponent niya ay n times t. Ngayon, divide both sides by PV, present value, ito na yung magiging sagot niya. FV over PV is equal to the quantity 1 plus R over N, tapos sa exponent I, N, T. Next one, dun papasok si LN, natural logarithm. So, LN of both sides natin yan, yan na, nag-LN na tayo. So, anong ginawa mo sa kaliwa, ganun din ang gagawin mo sa kanan. Next one, okay, dahil nag-LN tayo, Pwede natin ilagay yung exponent na yun, tingin tayo yun sa may kanang side ng equation, yung nt na yan, malalagay na natin siya sa, sa baba, dun sa kaliwa ng ln. Alright, so nalagay, napansin nyo, nalagay ko na nt sa kaliwa ng ln. Ngayon, mapapansin mo, we can now take the, ma-isolate na natin yung time. Paano natin gagawin yun? Divide both sides by n at yung quantity ng ln times sa quantity 1 plus r over n. Mapansin mo, mag-isa na lang yung time sa right side of the equation. Okay, so balik rin ko lang. Wala naman pinagkaya ba? So ito na yung formula natin. Diyan ang galing yung formula dun sa time. Okay, sir. So paano ba yung ln na yan, natural log? So makikita yan sa calculator. So sa Calculator natin, dun sa computer nyo, pwede to. Yan, sa left side. At yung sa calculator sa kasyo, basta makikita nyo lang yung LN. Andyan yan, scientific calculator. Posibleng wala yan sa scientific calculator. Alright, so let's have some example na. Example number one. If you deposit $3,500 into an account paying 5% annual interest compounding monthly, how long until there is 5,764.53 centavos in the account? So, kung mag-deposit daw siya, mag-deposit ka daw ng 3,500 sa account na nagbabayad ng 5% annual interest compounded monthly, gaano daw katagal ang iintayin mo para maging 5,764.53 to? So, obviously, inaanap ito yung time. So, lagi natin yung formula ng time sa compound interest. Next step natin is substitute na natin yung values. So, time is equal to sa numerator part, ln of future value over 
present value. So, 5,764.53, divide mo ng 3,500. Okay na tayo doon sa numerator part. Denominator naman, sabi kasi compounded monthly. So, that will be 12, yung N natin. Tapos, times yun sa quantity ng LN, tapos parenthesis ulit. 1 plus 0 0.05 over 12. Paano naging 0 0.05 over 12? Ang R natin ay 5%. You have to change it to decimal. So that will be 0 0.05. Denominator part natin, compounded monthly. So that magiging 12 yet. Next part, let's simplify the numerator. So yung 5,764.53 divided mo na 3,500, ang sagot dyan ay 1.647 and something. So, ln of 1.647, something. Sa baba naman, the denominator, 0 0.05 over 12, yung sagot niyan, add ka ng 1. So, matitara na lang ay 12 times ln of 1.00416, repeating decimal. And lastly, ina, simplify na natin yung ln 1.647 something at yung nasa denominator. Sa taas, that will be 0.4989 So denominator naman that will be 0 0.0498 Okay? Pag divide mo sila parehas divide mo yung 0 0.4989 to 0 0.0498 that will be 10 years So ang sagot dito ay 10 years Kung nag-deposit ka daw ng 3,500 dun sa account na nagbabay ng 5% annual interest compounded monthly at naging pera nito ay 5,764.53 Ang time na yun para makuha mo yung pera na yun ay 10 years. It will take 10 years para makuha mo yung ganong pera. Alright, so example number 2 tayo. Jimmy Hopkins would like to know how much time will it take if he will deposit $5,000 to an account that pays 10% compounded daily and will be $6,419.91. So, same question lang ito katulad kanina. Mag-deposit ka ng pera na 5,000 tapos sa account na nagbabay daw ng 10% compounded daily ay magiging 6,419.91. Gano'n daw katagal ang hihintayin mo para maging 6,419.91 ito? So, let's place the formula. And after that, substitute natin yung values. So, let's start with the numerator part. Time is equal to ln of the future value over ng present value. So, ang future value natin ay 6,419.91. Ang present value is 5,000. At yung sa denominator part naman natin, it's compounded daily. So, that will be 365. Times mo yan sa quantity ng ln of the quantity 1 plus 0 0.10 over mo ng 365. Okay, sir, bakit 0.10 over 365? Again, 10%. So, Change it to decimal, that will be 0 0.10 or 0 0.1. Compounded daily, so that will be 365. So, okay na natin. Substitute na natin. Let's simplify it pa. So, let's start with the numerator part. 6,419.91. Divide mo ng 5,000, that will be 1.283982. Okay, so okay na yan. So, ln of 1.283982. So, denominator part naman, Unahin mo muna sa loob ng parentheses. 1 plus dun sa fraction ng 0 0.103 over mo ng 365. So, 0 0.10 divide mo ng 365. Yung sagot niyan, add ka ng 1. That will be 1.0002739 and something. Ngayon, simplify na natin yung dalawa. Yung numerator and denominator. Let's start with the ln of 1.283982. And the answer will be 0.249966 and something. Kaya may dot 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 ako din. Denominator naman, ln of 1.0002739, yung sagot niyan, multiply mo sa 365. And the answer will be 0 0.099986 something. Again, if you're going to do it in the calculator, make sure na diretso siya. Okay? Mahirap kasi pag mag-round up ka sa kalagitnaan ng solution, kasi pera to ng tao eh. So every sense count. Mag-round up ka na lang sa pinaka final answer na these two decimal points. So, pag dinibay natin yung 0.249966 dun sa 0 0.009986, you will get an answer of 2.5 years. 
And let me just reiterate, ang time nakadepend palagi sa years. Kung anong sagot mo, it will be by years. So yung deposit ni Jimmy Hopkins na 5,000, tapos sa bangon na 10% compounded daily at naging 6,419.91 to, kailangan niya maghintay ng 2.5 years para maging 6,419.91 yung pera niya. Example number 3. Johnny Vincent would like to know how much time will it take if he will deposit $9,000 to an account that pays 1% compounded semi-annually and will be $15,000. So, same question again. Nahanap lang dito kung gano'ng katagal siya maghihintay para yung $9,000 niya maging $15,000 sa bangko na nagbabayad ng 1% compounded semi-annually. So, first step, lagi mo agad yung formula. Second step, you have to substitute the values. So, time is equal to the ln of the future value over mo ng present value. So, the future value mo ay 15,000. Ang present value mo ay 9,000. So, ln of 15,000 over 9,000. Let's go to the denominator part. Denominator part natin, compounded semi-annually daw. So, ang n ko ay 2. Okay. 2 times ln times the quantity 1 plus din sa fraction. Ang fraction natin ay r over n. So, 1% is 0 0.01 and compounded semi-annually will be 2. Alright? So, let's simplify it further. Simulan natin sa numerator. So, 15,000 divide mo ng 9,000, you will get an answer of 1.6 repeating decimal. So, ln of 1.6 repeating decimal na sa numerator. Denominator naman natin, that will be 0 0.01, divide ka ng 2, yung sagot niyan, mag-add ka ng 1. So that will be 2 times ln of 1.005. Alright, so next naman is, simplify it further pa. Yung sa numerator natin, ln of 1.6 repeating decimal, that will be 0 0.5108 something. At yung sa denominator part naman, 2 times the ln of 1.005, and the answer will be 0 0.009975 something. Now, divide na natin, 0 0.5108 something, divide man ng 0 0.009975 something. Now, and the answer will be approximately 51.21 years. So, si Johnny Vincent, kung gusto niya yung 9,000 niya maging 15,000, dun sa banko na nagbabayad ng 1% compounded semi-annually, it will take him 51.21 years. Alright, so mini quiz tayo. It's your turn. So, Gary Smith would like to know how much time will it take for his money to double if he will deposit it in an account paying 15% compounded monthly. So, si Gary Smith gusto daw mag-deposit ng pera at yung pera na yun, iintayin niya na dumoble. Doon sa banko na nagpipay ng 15% compounded monthly, gano'n daw katagal niya siya magiintay para dumoble yung pera na yun. So, I'll give you 5 seconds to answer this one. You may want to pause the video naman. And after that, I will, you, I will show you the answer and as well as the solution. Alright, time's up. And the correct answer is... 4.65 years. Approximately 4.65 years. Paano na tayo nakarating sa answer na yun? Let's find out. So, first step, lagay natin yung formula. Second step, substitute natin yung values. Okay, sir, ang value lang na meron ako dito is yung rate and yung compounded monthly. Okay. Ang mawabasin nyo sa tanong, it will take for this money to double. So, kung nag-deposit ka, tapos dumoble. So, ang present mo, Let's say, ang dineposit mo ay piso. Okay, or one dollar. Tapos, siyempre, dumoble siya, di ba? So, one times two is two. So, gagawin kong example na ay future value is two and present value is one. Okay, so may future value na ako at may present value. Next, substitute na natin yun. So, ln of two over one. Denominator part natin, compounded monthly. So, n natin ay 12. 
times mo sa ln of the quantity 1 plus 0.15 over 12. 15% eh, so 0.15. Compounded monthly, so 12. Ngayon, simplify it further. Let's start with the numerator. 2 over 1 is 2. Okay, so wala tayong problema doon. So ln of 2 na yung sa numerator. Denominator naman natin, that's 0.15 over 1 and 12. Yung sagot niyan, add ka ng isa. Add ka ng 1. So, denominator natin will be 12 times ln of 1.0125. Let's simplify the ln. Numerator part, ln of 2. That will be 0.693147 something. Over mo sa denominator, 12 times ln of 1.0125. That will be 0.14907. Ngayon, divide na natin. Simplify it na natin. 0.693147 something, divide mo ng 0.14907 something, is approximately 4.65 years. Again, if you're going to do it in the calculator, dapat diretso siya. Okay? Huwag kayong mag-around of sa gitna ng computation. So, kailangan diretso siya. Mag-around up lang kayo dun sa final answer na mismo. So, it will take 4.65 years para kay Gary Smith, kung mag-deposit siya ng pera at gusto niya tayong dumoble, sa bangko na nagbabayad ng 15% compounded monthly. If, kung nagdududa kayo dun sa example na future value ay 2 at present value ay 1, we can try another example. Basta, yung future value ay doble dun sa present value. So, let's say 5,000 yung future value ko, ang present value ay 2,5. Does it meet the requirement? Yes, kasi 2,500 yung dinaposit mo, dumoble na naging 5,000. So, check natin. And you will still arrive to the same answer naman. Mahingita nyo sa screen, 4.65 years pa rin. Alright, so that's the end of the lesson of how to find the time in compound interest. Next video natin will be about finding the rate in compound interest. So, we have a formula of R is equal to N times the quantity of FV over PV, tapos exponent niya ay 1 over NT, yung sagot niyan, minus natin ng 1. So, nasa screen naman yung parentheses to be clear. If you would like to comment or suggest another math and language video, or kung may assignment kayo, please comment down below at try ko kayong tulungan dyan. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell notification para updated kayo sa bago math and language video natin. Thank you. Bye-bye.